Hello lovely people, welcome back to another book chat. Um, okay, so in a moment I will get on to what I read in October, which was actually really not very much. I haven't had a very good reading month. Um, but first, but first, Beaufort Scales book four. The Fourth Cozy Mystery with Dragons, Game of Scones, is out in paperback. Um, well, it is on Amazon anyway. I'm still waiting for the proof to turn up for Ingrams, and then it'll be available on Book Depository, and you'll also be able to order it through your um, local indie bookshop just by giving them the title or the ISBN, and I'll put all the details and that sort of thing down here as soon as it's actually available. Uh, this is my third attempt, because the first two... I don't know what happened with colours. I've never had this problem with any of the other colours, uh, covers, but the colours did not work. They were nothing like what was on my computer screen. So I have one that looks quite like a horror cover. It's so dark. Uh, and one which sort of was very luminous and primary colours and all sorts of things were going on. And I ended up actually changing it and using a different image because I could not get it to work. Um, so, but there we go. It is available on Amazon. Uh, and I will get the others up as soon as I possibly can. Yay! Fourth Cozy Mystery with Dragons. Be warned that the Cozy Mystery with Dragons has dragons, dragons, dragons in it. Uh, as I have had a couple of reviews that didn't like the dragons. So, there we go. <laughs> Um, anyway, so that is my exciting news for October. I'm, I'm so happy. I had so much fun with this book. Uh, I have got another book which is in process. It is not a Beaufort. So the next one, but there will be more Beauforts coming later. But I am starting a new series which I'm very excited about. And I've had great fun writing the first book. Um, so that is very exciting for me. <laughs> not sure about you guys, but for me, yes. Um, right, so... On to the serious stuff. What did I read in um, October? October. So, The Art Sorcerer's Apprentice by Tom Holt. This The SO actually picked this one up. Um, I did, he hasn't read it yet. And I was just looking for something really light. And um, I've, I've been needing a lot of, of light, fun reading recently. Um, I, whether it's because it's getting darker, whether it's because I had so much on with um, the, the book, with getting... Game of Scones ready and that sort of thing and was having nightmares with trying to get the cover right <laughs> um, but I have been looking for a lot of fun reads recently um, and I had not read a Tom Holt before um, I will be reading more Tom Holt uh, this was fun I spent half of the book sort of going I, I, I'm not sure what's going on here uh, but I really enjoyed it so essentially there is an alternate world a parallel world um, in which it's a fairy tale wor world there's the the young woman walking through the forest to go to her grandmother's house with her little basket of baked goods who is being constantly being attacked by wolves and the woodcutter waiting to rescue her and, and there's always a gingerbread house um but people are starting to realize particularly this particular young woman that this really shouldn't be happening this this and she keeps telling the wolves don't attack me i'm only going to kill you which she does she's a very effective wolf killer which I think sold me on the book in the first couple of chapters. <laughs> um, but it is excellent. It's an interesting, it's a really interesting setup and it was quite unusual and it was well written and it was fun. And so Tom Holt, The Outsourcer's Apprentice. Uh, yes, thoroughly enjoyed and it was just what I needed. The next one. I know I just said I was reading a lot of light stuff, but this wasn't very light. Uh, Bad Science by Ben Goldacre. Um, really enjoyed it. I've only read a few of his columns before. I've actually not read a lot of his. Um, but as has been previously mentioned in other videos, I really enjoy my sort of pop science <laughs> books. You know, science for people that don't do science sort of thing. Um, and what's really good about this one is it really talks about how to read critically so you know all those studies that come up you know oh, this is the latest superfood that's going to add 20 years to your life um scientists have discovered you know this cure for the common cold or something in the laboratory um and newspapers hype things up because of course they do because that's how they get clicks that's how they sell copies um and this teaches you how to read a lot more critically um so i thoroughly enjoyed that i thought that was very very good um the other book i read was a similar sort of theme and actually I want to read it again because I enjoyed it very much was um Carl Sagan's The Demon Haunted Dark I, I always get the name a little bit wrong but it's something along those lines uh and that was excellent when it comes to talking about critical thinking um and I thought that was an absolutely fantastic book and I definitely need to read it again at some stage but definitely recommend Bad Science by Ben Goldacre he's quite humorous not too many equations <laughs> not too much maths uh but very interesting 
So, um, Philip Pullman, second book of the Book of Dust, The Secret Commonwealth. Um, I loved his dark materials. I, I thought those books were fantastic. I absolutely fell in love with them. Um, they're about only the second books that have ever made me actually properly cry. Uh, and I thought they were beautifully well done. So I had high, high hopes for the books of dust. Um, you may remember that I, I reviewed Le, um, Le Belle Sauvage, which was the first of the books of dust a, a while ago when that first came out. And I was a bit ambivalent. I wasn't sold on it. It kind of felt a bit disjointed and like everything had been thrown in all at once. Um, this one, I persisted, but mainly I persisted because the writing was good and because I already cared about Lyra from the previous books. If I'd only met her in this book, I'm not sure I'd have cared enough. Um, so I found it a really odd read. I mean, obviously he writes beautifully. The world he's created is wonderful, but it took so long for anything to happen. Um, I, I must have been a good third of the way through, and it's a big book, <laughs> before I felt that things were actually getting going. Um, there were certain aspects of it I didn't like very much, <laughs> uh, which I won't say because spoilers. Um, and... I don't know. I just wasn't sold. It it was it actually took an effort to make me keep reading. And then it ended on a cliffhanger and now I'm gonna to have to read the third book. And I'm not to be honest, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I really want to. <laughs> um so iffy. Very iffy about the whole Book of Dust series so far, to be honest. Um and I may have to go back and read his dark materials just to remind myself why I loved them in the first place. <laughs> so final book. Terry Pratchett Reaper Man. Um, this is a reread, I think. Um, actually, no, it's not a reread, you know. Uh, I have been reading Terry Pratchett since I was a teen, um, but because School Library was very, very patchy, uh, so pratchety, <laughs> School Library was very patchy, uh, as was, um, the Waiheke Island Library where I used to live when I was that sort of age, um, and I read them in all sorts of orders. And so I'm always a bit funny when someone says to me, you know, how, in what order should I read Terry Pratchett? Because I love him and I recommend him to everyone because I think he's fantastic. And my answer to that is always, I have no idea. Just pick up one and start. Because I honestly think that you kind of can. You don't really get lost. It's lovely coming back to the familiar characters, but I don't think it really matters if you haven't necessarily read them in order. Um, but, yes. Death is my about my favourite Terry Pratchett character. This is wonderful. Um, it, it's such a, a celebration of death's humanity almost. Um, and it, it's, yeah, I guess that is the best way to say it. He is this being which is very much not human, but he has more humanity than, there's more humanity in death, in all its aspects really, than in so, in the... In the efficiency of systems, I think, would probably be the best way to say it. <laughs> I should have thought that through before I started the sentence or the video. Um, and running alongside that, there is, of course, all the chaos that happens when death is no longer doing its job, um, which involves the Wizards of the Unseen University and Ankh Morpork, which is always fantastic. And I love reading about them and I love Ankh Morpork. So it was just great. And that was exactly what I needed. Another good fun read um and I actually am probably going to do an experiment once I finally acquire all the Discworld books which I am slowly doing uh is I will start them from the beginning and read them all the way through and I shall see how different it is from me reading books here and there um and yes that was all I read in October which is a shocking <laughs> a shocking display three books um not four books four books that's not too bad um and one of them was very long it took me a very long time <laughs> Um, okay, so I don't have anything in particular lined up for next month. Um, I keep buying books and picking them up and then I'm never quite sure <laughs> what I'm reading next anyway because I'm very much a mood reader. But I would love to hear what you've been reading this month or last month. I'd love to hear what you're looking forward to reading. I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of the books that I've read. Um, so yeah, let me know below and uh, I shall see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Speak to you then. Oh, and of course, oh, happy food looks. Don't forget to read Game of Scones. <laughs> and if you haven't started the Beaufort Scales books, um, Baking Bad is free as an ebook from any of your ebook retailers. So you can start for free and see if you like them, and then you can get your very own paperbacks.
Bye. <laughs> Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye.